Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 32 of Let's Play Infinite Adventures. Stay tuned because it's going to be a lot of fun exploring pretty much a new, brand new uh, area, brand new biome, I should say, in the Atlas Prime, which is like a hot and cold type of zone. Very cool. All right, so we have a lot to do before we head out, though. Let's go ahead and head to Deep Root Tavern and check the quest board. Let's see. Okay, we completed exploring the labyrinth with Jenica for a shard of glacier. Prophesied to be cold enough to freeze time. Gained a white wand and a thousand-year mentor. Take Ejlora to meet Warwick the Mighty on the Night State Ninth Station and get four Atlas runes. It's not ever. Hey, you see a gal like it's Laura gushing over a warrior, or a guy, or anyone really. <laughs> he could crush just about any knight that looked at her the wrong way. Huh. But with you guys finding work down there, she's gotten pretty riled up. He helped form the manuscripts of the warlord after all. Every warlord practically worships him. Neat. I bet if you set up a date for her and Warwick, <laughs> it'd be pretty entertaining. She's over at the Great Hall if you want to coax her into it. Cool. And we have to see what the uh, Atlas runes do. So we have two quests in progress. Let's head to the keep. Hello, traveler. What? Pork said a date. I have half a mind to go give him a few more scars to brag about. <laughs> Warwick the Mighty is a legend among us warlords. Alongside Lord Magar Schwartzbruin. He set forth the principles which allow one to channel rage in battle. Hmm. To find peace in turmoil. Concentrating one's rage into power. Not rash decision making. Right. Our own Sir Sakani uh, is a warlord that deals with that. I spent many nights out in the snows of Schwartzbruin. Meditating and wondering what it was Warwick felt when he did the same so long ago. If you would like, you are more than welcome to accompany me on my journey to meet him on the 11th station. Awesome. On the 11th station? Whoa, what was that thrown in there? He's on the 11th station? Dang. Okay, we have stuff to sell. Let's go ahead and sell our materials. A bright crystal. Four beetle wings. Those are new. Unlocked power wand for sale. Chaos embers. A bear tooth. Seven drone parts. Unlocked Guan Dao for sale. Titan Mail for sale. Titan Cap for sale. And a wing hide. Unlocked Blizzard Vest recipe. Blizzard Hood for sale. Interesting. We also have the White Wand, which we're going to uh, go ahead and equip on somebody. I think Associate Milanza might be able to use that. There's the Spire Wand. Wow, so two more points of magic and a lot more attack, which she doesn't really use, but a white wand which grows atop elven graves if their families leave flowers from the Silvar Woods as an offering. Um, okay, now we'd actually have to switch to range style, which lowers her magic. Yeah, she's best to have the... Uh, the rod of breaking it gives more magic so um you have the calling staff if we oh you can't even use it oh wait that's headgear if we use the white wand here and try her stance yeah she loses three points of magic as well as five percentage of block so she's better two-handed. So the white wand actually uh, she should have a ranged weapon. So let's just give her the fairy wand and give you I guess the spire wand just to have a ranged weapon. And the white wand we can pretty much sell and uh Get a good chunk for. Runes and tokens. Can't buy Atlas runes yet. Let's go ahead and check out some of this equipment. 
Titan Mail. Let's see. From Chain Mail, it gives five more physical defense. The father, Ancient of Days, had seven sons. Mountainborn, River Fed, the first and last Titans. This armor is hewn from the spine of the world, their grave. And then we've got Ascendant Row, which needs Dark Feathers, and this needs one more Wing Hide for a Blizzard Vest. Although Titan Cap offers 5% more Magic Resist. Wow. This cap uses Skull Fragments as armor plates. To wear the bones of a Titan is a bold statement, a defiance of the Ancient's will. And the Blizzard Hood has ridiculous Magic Defense, 34 this hood is stiff on the outside, but lined with fur from an unknown animal on the inside. The wearer's eyes become marked with a snowflake pattern. And increases magic. Alright, so say you're wearing a chain coif, which everybody is. That's double the magic defense. You lose the attack of three, but you gain double the magic defense. And a few points of magic, which Zastro can use. We're going to buy uh, a Blizzard Hood, a Titan Cap from a Chain Coif. Uh, we could wait on that. Um, Titan Mail from a Chain Mail. Five more physical defense. You know, I'd honestly rather get more Blizzard Hood. So let's buy another Blizzard Hood. And we didn't even look at the weapons. Dang. I shouldn't have done that. There's the Guan Dao. Nine more. One more percent of block and nine more damage. The spirit type is only found pierced through the skeletons of monks. Scrolls hidden in the shaft detail the carnal desires they vanquish with the weapon. Okay, we can't get those. Power Wand. We can't get that yet. That just adds three uh, attack. Meant to protect kings and queens, the wand was forged for a kingdom's royal guard. The soul of a dead ruler whimpers with lamentation inside. Morko to Nagashima. Okay, so we want to get a Guan Dao, but not yet. For Zastro. Um, wonder if we can sell... Yeah, nothing really to sell. So let's take that, head over to the Adventurers Guild, the library, and uh, see what these Atlas things do. We have to dis dis uh, unequip a weapon. So let's unequip his Gnomish Broadaxe plus two. Add Catalyst. All right, it's already got a plus two. It's not going to do anything for him. Okay, there's enchant. Um, if we enchant with an... Oh, we don't even know... Uh, dang, we don't even know... The... Um, enchantments that use Atlas runes. So there's nothing we can do with them yet. But I was thinking... This Baldarian look would look pretty good on Zastro to raise his magic a bit. Ranger's Broadaxe plus two. Yeah, this would look pretty good. Seven magic would improve his healing circle, which I'm starting to uh, use and worry about. Um, Zastro. I don't know why you're way back here. You got... Her. He's a hobgoblin? Dang, I didn't know Zostra was a hobgoblin. Uh, he's using... Oh, he's using the Beldarian Iron Spear. We'd have to get him the Beldarian uh, Dang Zhao or whatever it is. Hmm... So we can't do that yet, but that's next. Um, does anybody have skill points to use? Yes. 
Alright, so Sir Sakani has one. Um, Schwartz, Brew, and Fury. Three random attacks on enemies. Charge, Relentless. Can't learn Relentless yet. Um, discipline. Really nothing here we want to learn. Except maybe Smash. Physical damage plus Paralyze. Ignore damage between... Take no damage. Passive. Oh. We can deflect the incoming melee attack and even repost, which is interesting. A ranged attack. Throwing a weapon. Uh... He's very undisciplined, but he's good with his weapons. Um, let's see. Should we go the path of discipline? I think we should go this way. Let's just learn Shield Mastery. Get it over with. We don't need it, but... Okay, and she... Maybe learn. Ooh, let's put definitely more into that counter spell. Take that to 6%. That's been awesome. And Zastro has a point. Um, let's get another point of shield mastery. 9% block. He's good with the warrior arts. Let's do a new order formation. we are all right um let's save and then we're gonna head into the labyrinth looks like everything's on the up and up nope we didn't rest for 370 and do we have a virgin's crystal we do not so let's go ahead and buy one. Um, let's buy two in case I forget. We have four waters of life. Let's buy another one. All right. Now let's save. Just in case we get wiped out in there. Which is always a possibility. And let's head down to uh, the station nine. I guess we're waiting to get to the 11th station to meet Warwick the Mighty again. Which is news to me, but... Let's uh, explore Atlas Prime Station 9. Let's see. Alright, um, forward. We haven't found the gathering points. We haven't found, uh... Really a ton yet that's still hidden on these floors. It's always a fun exploration. Okay, this is all new now. The ice in this area is slippery. Be careful not to lose your footing. What is that? Is there a button to investigate? Or am I thinking of some other game? Hmm. Getting a little bit of slowdown here, so bear with me. Oof. Who knows what the materials are going to be here. We do have 50%. For duty. What is that? A firewolf. We do have 50%. Um, what do we have 50% of? I have 
no idea what we have 50% of. Sorry about that, guys. Completely blank just then. Oh, there's that first attack. Gambit. Poison shot. Dang. He dead. That's pretty rough to start off. Oh, and I did not re-equip his spear. Wonderful. Alright. No, it's not in power. Let's... Attack you. You can't equip, so you just attack you. You empower a revive on you. You go ahead and empower an icicle on the whole gang, and you aim shot that one. The mortal coil. A little icicle for you guys. Dead. Not too bad. Oof. Well, we're okay. Let's, um, Astral Vengeance you. Let's attack you. Let's go ahead and empower. A revive on you. Let's go ahead and empower an icicle on both of you. And brutal assault on you. Just to get the XP. So this should kill both of them right here. There we go. Ooh. Gotta do better. Drone parts. An 850 din. Level up for Tilly. Um, oops, store formation. Let's just use salves. Ooh, ooh, that feels good. I don't know if that's really good enough, but. Ah. Ooh, cannot decipher that ancient device, right? I sworn there was a button to investigate walls. I guess not. Okay, we're back here. Let's go this way. 50% encounter. Uh, this is going to be rough. 50% encounter rate. That's what it is. I wish there was a way. Yeah, we have half encounter rate. I wish there was a way to magic power. Or to heal more than one character. Huh. Let's make you heal you, 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 and you. That should do it. Hmm. A yokai. We are not ready for that, I'm sure. The machines here are more advanced than anything the gnomes here on Trinity have created. Huh. Okay, well, we gotta go this way. Let's see what we get. 5,600 denarii. And in this fat chest, Tome of Souls. Nice. Now we've got to get out of here. Um, we're going to be using a lot of healing. Let's 
let's see where we're headed now. Alright, back down this way. Kind of like the loose exploration without a fight every second. Ooh. Flame vest and a yokai. Oh, I didn't put on those hoods. What am I doing, man? Put on the Baldarian spear. Um, the hoods. Lady Goldwell. I can maybe put on. Uh, you know, I'd like Sakani to have that magic defense, really. Oh, he doesn't have his Gnomish Broadaxe on either. Primony. Let's give him a Blizzard Hood. So he's losing three attack, which his attack's ridiculous. He's gaining two magic, which is not important right now, and 17 magic defense. So he gets one. And Lady Goldwell gets one. She also had a chain coif. Boom. Let's see if anybody else needs a chain coif like you. You have one. Well, I have one, I should say. All right. And the flame vest, right? Name. Does not have a name. But you're using the treadmill anyway. Could you use the flame vest? Not really. Using full plate. Um, Aether vestment. Okay, it doubles your physical defense. But I'm going to go ahead and give that to Sister Tilly because... Oh, dang. She's using the Ascendant robe. Woo. We'll go ahead and give you the flame vest. Pretty cool. Wait, can you use an Aether Vestment? Probably not. Using Plated Vest. Yeah. Plated Vest is better. Alright, we do not want to fight the Eokai. We'll fight one before it. Alright, this encounter. We're kind of hurting. Let's throw it on a healing circle. You attack that one. You throw... An icicle. Yeah, it's going to probably heal the beetles, but just throw it on the hole. Party, you aim shot that one in the back, and you throw a major heal on the whole party. It would be cool if we killed that before it acted. Yeah, we might be in some trouble here. Might be in some trouble. So far, okay. Here comes a major heal. It's that first round that's rough. There's a resist. Nice. That still did a little damage on the beetles. Okay, let's Astral Vengeance. That one. You attack that one. You Brutal Assault a beetle. You throw an Icicle on that one. You aim shot that one and you throw a major heal onto her which may not which may not matter because uh any damage she takes is gonna be more than this heal is gonna cover probably oh maybe not so far playing out perfectly One shot kill. It's ancestral vengeance on you. Attack you. Attack you. You just attack back there. You aim shot on that one. And you defend. Hmm. Dang, we're not going to kill either of them. Okay, we killed one. Good heal. Take an attack. And shot out of the air like that. Drone parts and 1400 din. And some good XP. And a yokai right there. We're getting a little 
low on the MP. I did not mean to major heal Lady Tilly. But it happens. Alright, let's head in here. Door unlocked rank A. And it's a yokai. Here you go. You unlock a door. You get death incarnate. You encounter Ji, Amira, and Izumi. They are gathered around a small fire with game roasting on the spit. Ah, traveler. Come, sit with us. I'm sure you are surprised that a prince of my statue is down here in this godforsaken labyrinth preparing to feast on a bat. To be honest, I'm surprised myself. My father never cared much for me. Uh -huh. I was his seventh son. No one cared much what I did. I ate, drank, and hoard until I found this one, Azumi, my shining star. Uh -huh. Together, we traveled the Eastern Kingdom until we met a beautiful woman from Duras that shared her visions with us. Cool. I had seen them in my dreams, you'll see. I saw us early in my dreams, even you, Traveler. I told the prince about the labyrinth and that the future of our world would depend on what happened down here. I knew she was telling the truth, and the longer we explore this place, the more I believe she was right. Now the perils Amira spoke of are starting to manifest. Someone has been following us down here. Not the Shizu, not the machines. Someone skilled in the arts of stealth and murder. Huh. So, it is safe to say I was raised in the hellish slum of witchcraft, famine. Disease, you name it. I had to learn how to deceive, to trick, and sometimes take life away for those who did not deserve it. When I took a life, I did it through traps, complex ones, lures taught by only the most degenerate of the Wu Gen sorcerers. <laughs> so, that is how I know someone tried to kill me, Elmira, on Z today. Upon lifting a pack of abandoned treasure, a jar of paralysis beetles opened. Uh. This trick is used to drown thieves by rivers. Meaning whoever set this one hailed from Trinity. Someone well traveled. Someone who has drained my trust with everyone down here. Wow. The shadow gathers. We are enemies of the ancient of chaos now. We have killed his accolades and have actively thwarted the will of a dead god. We must not let the seeds of distrust break us apart. All of us adventurers must face the evil down here together. Dang, this is cool as heck. The bats are well crisp. Eat now. Worry about saving the world later. Ji hands you a bat wing. You trade stories of adventure by the fire before returning to your exploration. Dang, that's the lore and stuff is cool as heck, man. I love it. Love, love, love it. What's in here? Oh, steps down. Well, I'll be. Hmm, I wonder if I go this way. Nothing. Alright, let's keep exploring. Is that wall fake? Show is. Alright, that takes us down here. Oh, nice. A little shortcut. Remember, these dungeons are handcrafted. The uh, infinite dungeons are the portals, which we're going to do next episode. Probably a portal of the Aether Wilds. Just to get some treasure and level up a bit. Alright, we want to go... Dang, we explored a lot of this place. Is it here? Wait, there's a step before Yokai right there. Um, yeah, let's go this way though, where there's no fire. If we must fight, then All I'll right. make it fast. Attack the one in the back. Set up a healing circle. You attack that one. You empower an icicle and throw it on air, buddy. You... 90% melee attack. Um, aim shot that one. And you... Can do a heal on her. You off the mortal coil. Take a nice. Ugh. Not that great. But it helps. It all helps. There's a block. It's a hurting, hurting hit. Oh, that's rare. She's dead. No real good way to revive. Okay, now I'm getting a little worried. A little tiny bit worried. Okay, good. And the healing circle will help. And then he's going to take one down. 
feels good. Oh, I have him in two-handed stance or something. Gosh. God bless it. Aim shot at that one. Wow. Okay. Now I'm really getting worried. Yeah, now I'm really getting worried. We have to kill some of these things like ASAP. Thank you. you. You empower a national vengeance on you. You attack one back there. You use a water of life. on Sir Sakani and you aim shot that one is our water of life this is okay it's a critical empowered did not kill though okay that's okay that should kill she's dead Sir Sakani lives and maybe goes on to live another day yep oof Ancestral Vengeance on that one. You attack that one. You Brutal Assault that one. And you Aim Shot that one. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay, we're, we're okay. Get rid of these guys. <sighs> and I'm not... I want to get... Um some XP for people, so I'm going to try to water of life, everybody. Good, good. Parry. Saved 1,059 damage. Perfect. Alright. Do you attack, you attack, and you can just empower a brutal assault. And that should do it. Dang, I haven't been two-handed or something. 6,700 damage. So a lot. Oof. Blazing fur and drone parts. 1,400 denarii. And a couple levels. That's what we wanted. All right, let's... Let's fix what's going on here, man. One hand versus two hand. One hand with his shield. Using two hand, you go dual wield, my friend. And you have two things equipped. Alright, so we're pretty much out of commission here. So let's just go ahead and use a Virgin's Crystal. We explored quite a bit. It was great. Um, let's head to the House of the Mother and resurrect... Melanza. Ancient of life. Bless this lost soul with the breath of life. Okay. Let's rest at the inn. Price keeps going up. I guess it's based on level or something. Let's head to the armory and sell our materials. We got a blazing fur. That's new. Unlock flame vest recipe and flame hood for sale. And five drone parts. Let's check the flame... Hood. A strange and dazzled mesh makes up this hood. It flows in an invisible breeze and mimics the pattern of flames from another world. Not quite as good. Um, let's go ahead and buy a blizzard hood. Another one. For... To increase the magic of... Sister Tilly. She's got a cloth hood. Raises her magic by 2 and her magic defense by 30. Over there on the right. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and sell stuff. Cloth hood, aether vestment, chain coif, chain coif. Um, go ahead and buy some sundries, salves. We can get 29 of those. 
Um, two more waters of life. Another virgin's crystal. Alright, and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and save here and see how long we've been playing. Um, 35 minutes. Uh, should we peek back down in there? Why not? Why not? Only 35 minutes. We can play another 10 minutes or so. Probably going to waste 500 din, though, by doing this, because... Uh, we're not going to get very far. Oh. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, we're not going to get very far in 10 minutes, probably, but... Because we'll have to teleport out of here to... Uh, Save our progress. Let's go this way. This is new. Hunt. Found a clockwork bunny. Sweet. Gather. Found a firefly. Okay, that connects there. That connects there. Huh, didn't find the uh, other point. Is that it? Gather. Exhausted. Huh. Alright, that's that. I guess we have to go this, this way. Could be a puzzle of ice this way. Let's come down here. I'll cut you like a fish. All right, kind of know the drill here. You attack there. You go ahead and lay down a healing circle. You attack that one. You go ahead and empower an icicle on the whole gang. You aim shot. That one, and you uh, defend. Critical. Ooh, plus raising heck of rage. That's a great start. That's not bad. Healed though. Another heal. Poor. Dang! Her magic defense is crazy. She was like, meh, flame poor. Seen better. Put a little salt that one. You throw another empowered icicle on everybody. You aim shot that one. You defend. You off the mortal coil. Nice. Ooh, almost killed one. Persisted. Her magic defense is good too on flame. That hurt. So did that. Mm, wow. Why is he using range? That sounded like a ranged weapon. Like he shot something. Alright. Go ahead and end this. Empower a brutal assault. You usually move fast with throw an icicle, aim shot. You attack. Huh. Almost got a kill. Here's an overkill. That one in the back still gonna get a turn. Dang, do a thousand damage. See, sounds like he's shooting a gun. Ugh, I got him on range or something. Three drone parts, 1400 din. Nice XP, but the XP is starting to... 
be lower here. All right. Um, yeah, I have them unranged. We want one hand. All right. Um, let's head up this way. Let's go ahead and sab up a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, I guess. And cleanse. If we had that one mendicant skill of uh Possibly a gambit. Tome of Potency, Volume 3. Wow. Possibly a gambit of curing ailments after combat. Uh, just step in it. All right, now we got to salve up. I like to fill out the whole map, even, and you never know if there's going to be a secret door somewhere. Salves are simple to use and cheap. <sighs> All right. Oh, we have to go down this way. Sorry, I was using the directional pad instead of WASD for some reason. I was thinking this was like Stranger of Sword City. When it's not, that's the whole floor, folks. Except for the yokai, which I guess we'll try next time. No, that's not the whole floor. There's a path this way. Right here. Maybe a gathering point. Everything dies eventually. Alright, attack. Healing circle. Attack that one. You throw an icicle in the whole gang. You aim shot. That one. You defend. I should be using barrier and stuff. We'll get into that. Once I start leveling up that skill for her, nice resist. Pretty cool. Ouch. Okay. Knew that was gonna hurt. Don't even need a healing circle this battle. Dang. Thanks. Alright, let's Ancestral Vengeance that one. Attack that one. Brutal Assault that one. Throw an ice um, empower an icicle. Game shot that one and you throw a major heal on her. Yeah, that thing's gonna get an attack. Ooh. And then be struck down. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. 850 din. Drone parts. We're, yeah, we're starting to level up pretty slowly. Let's go ahead and cleanse. And might as well save the salves, just major heal. And go this way. Aha. Mine found Titan Ore. And that, my friends appears to be the entire level, except for the yokai areas, which we will attempt next time. So let's, let's do this. Let's get to the steps down, which is going to be quite a travel, but I think I know the way. way here. Okay, just down. And down. And down. Take the shortcut. Or the detour. In this case. Make it to the steps in one piece. Descend. 
Atlas Prime, level 10. I hear something. Unlock floor skip for station 10. So there should be a teleporter in here, right? I really don't want to get into a fight. Traveler, we are headed back to Giamata right now. Something stalked us through an ice cavern. It wouldn't have been an issue for us, but... But whatever it was, put out the torches. All at once. Absorbing the flame to turn into shadow. <laughs> it was unsettling, to say the least. Not because of whatever dark magic was used, but because the Shizu don't behave in such a manner. Most of the enemies down here would have ambushed us, but whatever, or whoever it was, never attacked. Huh. Something is awry. I'm beginning to wonder what our true purpose down here is. All this talk of Indra, the Ancient of Chaos. I used to think this labyrinth was my path to glory. Now I know. This is no test or trial of my will. This is a battle to keep my humanity from being consumed by forces much greater than I've imagined. Wow. Let's head back now, Zandi. A good bowl of maize lamb curry and you'll be in good spirits again. Tanya opens up a virgin's portal and the couple teleport back to town. Which is what we're going to do exactly right now. Dang, this game is so cool, man. What a game. What a crawler. What a CRPG. All right, we have a lot to do here. Uh, we'll do that next time. Unlock, you know, all this new armor and everything. And, uh, you know, sell the Titan ore and all that stuff. Check out the new quest for level 10. It's going to be a lot of fun, so stick with me. I hope you do. Hope you enjoy as well and are enjoying the let's play and the videos thank you so much for watching if you made it this far even if you didn't make this far and you never hear me say this thank you i appreciate you <laughs> much love peace and joy guys catch you next time so long